on, Blood Squad? It's your girl Chloe Yasmin back in the cut with another video. And in today's video, your girl's gonna be doing a haul, okay? What I'm gonna title it is what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a girly things shopping trip haul. I went out and bought like a bunch of stuff. Do not mind this. This is my fan. It's real hot right now, and I'm just like trying to fan myself, okay? I ain't trying to copy nobody. I know there was a few people on YouTube that would like use fans in their video. I ain't trying to copy nobody. I'm just really hot, for real. I don't know if y'all can tell my face is really red. It's hot as crap up in here, for real. Anyway, with that being said, your girl's just gonna go ahead and hop into my haul. I went out today. I went to Sephora, Ulta. I'm gonna have some things from Dollar General. I went to Target, Macy's, like just a bunch of cool places. And I went and got like a bunch of girly things so that me and you can just sit down and have some time, kind of conversate a little bit. And also I can show you guys what I got. So yeah, I'm a shopper, okay? I like cheap stuff. I like expensive stuff. I like it about everything. And I like watching people haul stuff and show me what they got i don't know it's just something about it i really like because i'm like oh i might want to try that i might oh I, I i might want to try that so hopefully y'all can get that kind of vibe from this video or whatever but the first place that i went i went to sephora now i actually had three items specifically that i was going to pick up and when i got there the lady was like actually we don't have this which i was seriously excited about it it is the glow recipe i don't know if you guys are into skincare or not but i'm really into skincare i've never used anything by the glow recipe but back in the day when i was on tiktok glow recipe was very very like popular so here is the glow recipe watermelon glow pink dream body cream they finally came out with a body cream here's what the packaging looks like I'm not a very big watermelon fan but we're just gonna go ahead and see how it smells I have heard amazing things about this brand so I am super 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 excited I didn't really want to use any other skincare stuff because I kind of have a really good skincare routine going for me right now and I don't want to like switch it up at all super cute all pink packaging here's what the bottle looks like isn't this so cute okay let me see what it smells like because I'm not a very big watermelon fan fan come on let's go okay I'm really excited to see what it looks like it's pink oh my gosh that's super cute it's pink okay that's straight up watermelon it smells really cheap but it might be oh that's a really nice lotion though oh I like that because it's not too thick to where you can't really distribute it you know how most body creams are like that okay I don't really like the scent I'm gonna be honest because it does smell really cheap and it smells like something cheap you know like watermelon like little kid bubble bath or something so it does not smell expensive in any way shape or form but hey i have been loving trying out different lotions i love the minimal packaging it's just like all pink no ingredients or anything on the back you can obviously like look up the ingredients but i thought that was super cool to just go ahead and try because i mean i'm into body care i mean i love skincare but i don't want to use like a bunch of stuff on my skin i have the kind of skin where my skin will be like whoa 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 i'm about to act a fool because you tried me you're trying to use all these different products i need the same products every day i also have been hearing amazing things about this new fenty body cream fenty skin butter drop whipped oil body cream and here is what the packaging looks like it's like all purple here is what the body butter looks like it's a super like creamy texture oh my gosh i am so excited i'm gonna put it up here because i put the other body cream down there okay yeah this body cream is topping that other one are you joking this is so it definitely has oil in it it is so moisturizing girl you ain't even gotta mix your oil in with your lotion or your body butter if you get something like this i mean dang this is like silk it does not have a scent like at all but i mean you can always add perfume oil to it i honestly do not mind that it doesn't have a scent because i wear perfume so i mean either way i'm gonna smell good that is super cool and i love the minimal packaging once again it's like all purple nothing crazy last but not least from sephora i went ahead and picked up this so janeiro rio dio i cannot stand the scent of so janeiro's bum bum cream or any of that stuff i feel like it smells super cheap and like childlike like buttered popcorn but they came out with an aluminum free deodorant and y'all know i only use aluminum free deodorant so this is super exciting and it doesn't smell bad it actually smells really nice it smells a lot like their body shimmer oils instead of the bum bum cream like this does not smell like butter popcorn to me it really gives me just like that vanilla shimmer oil if you guys know what the sol janeiro shimmer oils smell like this is exactly what they smell like they smell like very warm cake kind of i'm not even the biggest fan of those scents but i mean it's an aluminum free deodorant, so I'm really excited about that. So I had to go ahead and pick up this deodorant. Now, y'all know your girl had to go to Ulta. I'm always in Ulta. I love Ulta. And let me tell you guys, I found a really good new facial moisturizer. This is honestly meant for oily skin. I'm starting to realize that I don't have as bad of dry skin as I thought I did because I'm cutting out like all oils and all like heavy moisturizers and i'm kind of starting to see that i don't really have dry skin at all what will happen is if you're over moisturizing your face your face kind of feels like it doesn't really need to produce sebum or whatever it's called and so your face can be really dry and i feel like that's what was happening when i was putting the oils and super heavy rich moisturizers on my face and honestly this has been like my holy grail moisturizer in the whole entire world it is the acne clear oil free matte moisturizer by peter thomas roth i try not to go for products that are specifically for acne 
acne, that tar that Target acne, because they never work for me. But this honestly has been working, and I'm honestly obsessed with it. It has salicylic acid in it, so it really does work. I had to pick this up. It was very pricey. It is the OC Anti-Aging Body Balm. This was like $50, but I'm like, why not try it? Because I have been so into like new lotions and like moisturizers, as I just told you guys. So let me see. It's in a glass bottle, so you already know it's expensive. Like a legit glass bottle like oh my gosh look at this this time I'm gonna go ahead and put it over here because oh child 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 it's like a it's like a, um definitely like a balm but it's more like an oil I don't know if you guys can tell but it definitely is like an oil which is super cool and it smells like oh my gosh oh my gosh it smells like natural like tea tree lemon oh my gosh it smells so good this is fire this smells so good it has like a very natural type of scent to it Honestly, out of all of these, I think this one's going to be way more moisturizing. And I actually like a deep glow to my skin when I am wearing like strapless shirts or like rompers. And so this OC and like the Rihanna one, the Fenty one, is going to go perfect because my skin is going to be glowing. This is so weird. I bought this Don't Sweat the Small Stuff clean deodorant, which is super cool, but it's like leaking. That's so weird. It's like an aluminum free deodorant. Oh, it's like, li oh, okay. It's very like oily. And like liquidy it does not smell like cucumber or whatever they said it was supposed to smell like but okay i picked up this aluminum free deodorant i guess we'll go ahead and try it i like the ones that are morally powdery um but we'll try that out dollar general was super simple i just went ahead and bought three snuggle fabric softeners because i go through fabric softeners so fast i don't know about y'all but i like for my stuff to smell super good like my clothes had to smell really 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 good so i use a lot of fabric softener i use a lot of detergent and i love my game detergent so i got two bottles of these from dollar general because y'all already know how i feel about my laundry stuff i don't play that so i went ahead and picked up two of those because I recently did all of my laundry I don't know if I told you guys or not but if you watch my YouTube channel you know that I had so much laundry to do girl I got it all done in two days so I got all of my laundry done all of my laundry's done I just had to go ahead and like redo it because that was like a week ago but that's why I went ahead and bought more stuff because I'm gonna need it now from Target I went ahead and picked up my drift because let me tell you something you can't just be washing your underwear and anything I really used to wash my underwear in just regular detergent and I honestly am just like why was I why was I doing that because that's another reason why I was irritated and probably had a smell down there because it's knocking off my pH balance and it's making me it so your girl be using drift. I don't use all that crazy scented stuff. They do have an unscented drift. This is not unscented, but it's basically unscented. Like it literally barely has a scent and this does not irritate me at all. It's for, it's for babies, so it's good. I went ahead and got a big old thing of detergent to go ahead and wash my underwear with. Now you guys may be wondering, why the heck do you have scent boosters? Scent is not good for down there. But I've noticed that these do not irritate me at all. These are the Dress Blissful Beads. These smell just like baby powder. So I don't know if you guys know, but if you have babies, you most likely know. Drift used to have a baby powder scent to it. They took it out and they just keep it in the beads. Beads. So I always have to use the beads because the beads make my um, underwear smell like baby powder. They honestly, it don't matter if they have a scent or not. I just love scents. So this makes my underwear and stuff smell like baby powder and I love that. I picked me up some bio oil because I love my bio oil. I picked up the Glade Lavender and Vanilla plug-ins to make my room smell good because it ain't nothing like a good smelling room. Coming into your room and it's smelling fire or your house, you already know. It's just a really good feeling. And then they have these new Glade Plus plug-ins. I guess they light up. They have a low refill indicator. So if you need go ahead and like refill it it'll indicate that and like flash it has an eight hour rest cycle and it turns off when it's empty which is the coolest thing ever so I had to go ahead and pick up these two because I want two of them in my room to make my room smell good what I usually do is light a candle or use wax melts which works so amazing but I do want to go ahead and use these because they are more safe and I don't have to like unplug my wax melter or blow out my candle before I leave because I'm paranoid about it about it girl if you are struggling with bad breath get you some smart mouth go to target get this bottle this is honestly amazing you will not have no bad breath no more i'm telling you and then if you're dealing with odor downstairs girl oh my gosh these azo pills right here these are these this, <laughs> whoa this is the daily probiotic all them other probiotics and stuff that people always suggest i'm gonna tell you this right now this is gonna top all of them every single person that has tried this tells me oh my gosh you have literally like changed my life like if i wouldn't have found these what would i be doing right now if you have tried everything and you just cannot get rid of an odor down there like you can only get rid of it for like a few hours after you get out of the shower but not like for the full day i never have a scent like until the next day that's time for me to take another shower i'm still fresh and it's because of these azo daily probiotics girl get you some it will get you right downstairs i have a snack addiction so i got me some slim jims i got me some m ms that have peanuts in them because girl yes i got me some skinny pop i love skinny pop so i went ahead and got myself two bags of skinny pop because i be going through some skinny pop honey 
Girl, if you keep up with my videos, I love red vines. So I went ahead and got me some red vines. Because, baby, the last bag I got, it was stale. So I couldn't even really eat them red vines. So I got me a new bag. Hopefully, these are not stale. What might have happened to the other bag is there might have been, like, a micro hole. And I did and I did not see it. And nobody's seen it. And so they kind of just got stale and hard. We all know about Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret lotions. We all know about the really scented lotions. But I'm trying on different lotions, as you guys can tell. And my favorites right now are Jergens lotions. So I just went ahead and picked up the Argan Oil one because I love Jergens. It makes my skin smell super good. And it also just leaves my skin super super moisturized and I'm just now starting to minimalize or whatever you call it my hygiene like I don't really be doing all the crazy extra stuff I keep it really simple I get in the shower wash my body up with a dove soap get the heck out Jergens perfume I don't really be doing all that no more I don't even really be using body scrubs because I use exfoliated washcloth so I'm trying to really cut down on a lot of different things I don't know about y'all but I love getting new towels. I love washing my towels and having fresh clean towels smelling like snuggle so I went ahead and bought two towels because girl I love towels. And I think the reason why I be collecting towels the way I do, I think the reason why we do it, why I do it is because we didn't have any towels growing up and we sure didn't have no nice towels. All of our towels had like holes in them or stains on them and we just had to keep reusing them. And so I think that's why I have a huge obsession with like getting a lot of towels. Like I have a lot of towels because we didn't really grow up with a lot of towels or washcloths. So I try to like stock up on like a bunch of different stuff. So like the things that I didn't really have growing up, I noticed that I get a heck of a lot of. More lotion. I got me some Nivea vanilla lotion. Yes, ma'am. I love Nivea. I love Jergens. I love these lotions. It will get you right. And then I got two bras. Never seen bras like this before, so I had to go ahead and pick them up. I thought they were so cute. I don't know what the heck I'm going to wear them with because they come up so high. For some reason, they got connected, but they look like this. They're cute. My favorite shorts right now are the Target shorts. They look like this. They're like guy. They look like guy shorts, but they're really female shorts. So I went ahead and got two pair of those. One extra small, one small. Yes, ma'am, because I like how they both fit in different sizes. And then this doesn't really have a scent to it, but it is the new New Dove Soothing Care Body Wash. I love Dove Body Wash. I literally just love it so much. If you're not a big fan of bar soap, then I definitely suggest using a good Dove Body Wash because these really do keep me odor free and smelling right. I picked up this super cute leotard on the back. It's like this. Super cute, right? And then the front it's like this. It's like a regular leotard. Totally could wear that with like some a good pair of pants. Last but not least, from Target, I picked up some fruit roll-ups because baby, you know I gotta have my little sweetness. And then last but not least, out of this one entire haul, girl, I went to Macy's and I got me some perfume because y'all know I got a perfume addiction. But my mama does not know this, but the other day, if you watched my recent video, the other day I went to Ulta and I bought this Lancome Idole perfume and I love it. And the reason why I bought it is because I already had a bottle, but I was smelling like it that day and I spray a lot of perfume. So I knew that that perfume was going to be gone soon, which it is. It's gone because I used it again today. It's like my favorite perfume at the moment. I always say this about different perfumes, but I go through perfume phases. So right now at the moment, yes, Lancome Idole is my favorite in the whole entire world. So my mom smelled it and was just like, oh my gosh, you just smell so good. Like she came down my hallway and was like the whole hallway smells like you like it just smells so good it is the Lancome Idole perfume yes ma'am had to get that for my mama because my mama wanted it and I I just feel like if my mom she don't usually say nothing about stuff that she likes that's why it's gonna be really hard for me to get her stuff for her birthday but she never says anything that she likes and so when she does say it I make sure that I go and get whatever she said that she likes but I got her the gift set because it was just like $17 more to get like this little extra one and this is only like two point eight or something like that so it's not super huge um so I just went ahead and got her the gift set because yes ma'am gotta hook my mama up and then last but not least for me I went ahead and picked this up now this guy I was like can I smell the Chanel Chance the green one because it smells really nice um but then he was like hmm have you ever are you familiar with Aqua DGO or something like that and I was like yeah I have the pink one my mom has the blue one or I think it might be this one and he was like okay you need to go ahead and smell this so I smelt it and girl this smells so freaking good he was like do you like fresh and clean I was like absolutely especially for the summertime like I love fresh and clean yeah this is definitely the bottle that my mom has this is so cute oh my goodness new perfume who is this you guys already know how I get about my perfumes I love my perfumes who that junk smells so fresh and clean that junk go crazy it's something about a fresh and clean smelling person in the summertime you don't want to really do anything heavy or old lady-ish so this lady came in the tanning salon yesterday and I was in there and honestly like if you like your perfume girl wear your dang perfume okay can nobody tell me that I can't be wearing this scent because it don't smell right like don't tell me I can wear this in the winter time the spring time the summer time okay but I'm just saying it's not like the best thing to do when you're wearing super heavy like older lady kind of fr fragrances you guys know what I mean so this lady camp comes in the tanning salon and I'm smelling like whew, this scent 
and I'm like, it's so hot that this scent can be intoxicating. So I gotta watch what perfumes I'm wearing in the summertime because they're not off for the summertime. When I was in Miami, everybody had the same perfume and cologne on. It was like the men and the women smelled the exact same. It's like they were all wearing perfume, we were all wearing the same cologne. It was like an old lady scent. So when I was on the airport, when I was on the airplane, this lady walked past us and this guy across from us was like, oh, she smelled good. He told his girlfriend, you need to be wearing some perfume. Like I'm trying to smell a lady that smelled good. Like he's going off about how this lady smells so good. She needs to wear perfume. And I'm like, I'm sorry, why you over there talking to your girl like that? That perfume was not popping at all. Plus she was mad rude. The flight attendant was disgustingly rude and like so snooty. And so then I get to Miami and I smell this guy and he smells just like that lady. And I'm like, I just kept smelling the same scent over and over again. And I think that's probably why I didn't like it because I just kept smelling the same scent in Miami. Like everybody smelled old. I don't know. Let me start, child. Because everybody, can, you can wear what you want. If you like that smell, you like that smell. As long as you are confident in what you smell like, go ahead. Because, baby, it's been plenty of times. I wear my perfume and somebody be like, actually, it's not plenty of times. But, like, actually, no, it only happened one time. And it was my own family. And it was like, are you wearing so-and-so? I'm like, yep. And they're like, ew, I can't stand that. I was like, ooh, I love it. I said, ooh, this is how I said it. I was like, ooh, I love it so much. I said, matter of fact, I just got a compliment on it before I walked into your crib. And it was like, yeah, I don't like it. I'm like, ooh, I love it, child. Mm. If somebody ever tell you, ew, like you shouldn't be doing that, or I don't like that, just be like, ooh, I love it. Mm, love it so much. Just got 10 compliments on a matter of fact. Make them even matter. Shoot, I'm just playing. They probably watching this video like, girl, I ain't even really mean it like that. <laughs> I gotta go, y'all. God bless you.